Schopenhauer is the outsider's choice, the non-academic philosopher who debunks the pretensions of fancy jargon, looks at the world with an unflinching eye and tells us honestly how awful it is for the most part. God is already dead for Schopenhauer, and rationality is something we can neither find in the order of things nor rely on to sort out our problems. He is the inspirational forerunner of Freud, Nietzsche, and existentialism. Face it, he says, this is not the best of all possible worlds, but the worst, populated by self-seeking beings destined to harm one another, full of desires that go unsatisfied, striving that has no ultimate purpose. We cannot stop striving, fighting, and suffering. All this is deep in our nature as creatures of will, the unconscious, insatiable force that pushes us on through life. We get nowhere by willing, but we're equally lost without it. For, as Schopenhauer says, suppose the human race were removed to a utopia, where everything grew automatically and pigeons flew about ready roasted. Then people would die of boredom or hang themselves. No thinker tells it so bleakly. Yet his book, The World as Will and Representation, is superbly uplifting to read, like a sublime tragedy or a great soaring symphony in four movements, as Thomas Mann called it. And there is redemption in Schopenhauer's vision, because we have art. In art, we retreat from life and experience true tranquility and understanding. We have music, which reveals through feelings the underlying nature of things. We have compassion for our fellow beings, all of whom, no matter what species, deserve moral respect as creatures of will. And we have the ideal of a mystical resignation which unites for the first time in history the ideas of Eastern and Western thought. A unique and uniquely challenging thinker who really digs deep into the soul of the reader. So vote for him now. <laughs>